Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, guys. I'm saying it again. I swear I said it two days ago. Another week, done. But I did get to the Dollar Tree. I found some really cute stuff this week. Um, at least I think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just amazing. I always say that. It's always amazing. Every week you go, you can find something new. But I am going to flip you guys around over here to my table so we can see better. And then we will get started. First, I always start out with, like, the grocery things that we picked up. Um, I mean, some people may not be interested, but some people don't know, you know, what's there. So that don't get out that often. So that's why I like to share all this stuff. Let me grab my glasses so I can see. This was something different I hadn't seen at the do my Dollar Tree anyway. It is the Dove Silky Smooth Pudding and Pie Filling. So I want to try that. That sounds really, really yummy. Um, and this is the what? 3.3 mm, ounce, 3.03 ounces. It makes four one-half cup servings, so I want to try that. I love Dove chocolate, so I'm hoping that's really, really good. So I picked, let's see, let me go through what I picked out, because most of this stuff is what my husband picked out, because he loves when we get to that section of Dollar Tree. Um, I picked up a bag of these banana chips. I don't know if any of you guys have tried these. It says crispy and sweet. I have not tried them. Um, something different I thought to munch on. I, I'm not that much on chips and Doritos and all that kind of stuff. But, um, so I'm going to try these. What is it? It's 8 grams of fat. What do you get? Uh, 4.5 servings. So you get one third of a cup serving of these. Um, 20 grams sodium. Not horrible. Uh, 5 or 2 grams sugar. 5 grams and three grams of added sugar one gram of protein i don't know any snacks are not good for you <laughs> but i figured oh banana chips can't go wrong but i've never tried them before so i figured you know i like trying different things um what else did i get back here i got my honey roasted snack mix with the cashews i love this one i've gotten this one a couple of times now it's uh, honey roasted peanuts, honey roasted sesame sticks, and honey roasted cashews. These are really, really good to snack on. So yeah, you guys know, I love nuts. I can eat anything about the peanuts, cashews, almonds, you name it. And for my goodies this trip, I picked up a bag of the Landmark Confections peppermint patties. Love these. These are my favorite ones, even out of the other brands of peppermint patties. I like these the best. And they're all individually wrapped, too, in here. Um, so, yeah, you get quite a few in there. They're, they're a pretty good deal. So I think that's all that I picked out. The rest of the stuff is what he picked out. Now, these, I have not had these in years. These are the almond windmill cookies. You know, they're shaped like a little windmill. Um, so we'll see how they are. haven't had them from Dollar Tree ever. I don't think we've, I don't think we've ever had these from Dollar Tree. Um, little Dutch made almond windmill cookies. So we shall see. I don't know. They sound yummy. I can remember eating them years ago, but I don't think we've had them in Dollar Tree. I could be wrong. Um, and his snacks to take to work this weekend, he got some more of the Butterball Smoked Turkey Sticks. These are the real, real long, 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 long ones. So he got two of those to take to work. And Let's see, he picked out some nacho cheese flavored Doritos and some of these. These I love these chips too. These are really a much thicker chip. And this size bag is perfect because, you know, we don't eat them all at one time. And half the time when we get the big bags of chips, they end up going outside of the birds or something because we just can't finish it. They get stale. So this is a great size right there for us anyway. So he got those with the ridges, and he got another can of the Dole, or no, these are Libby's, I'm lying, Libby's Sliced Pineapple, and he got the V8 Juice, I show this stuff a lot, because we get to some of this every week, he loves to take these to work too, so I'm just going to go through that stuff quick, and then this is the Welch's Strawberry Kiwi, this was in the refrigerator section, so my little Layla's mad, she's outside the door, and I shut the door on her. But this is a 16 fluid ounce. All right, so that's it for the food goodies. I'm going to show them real quick. 
Um, what else did I get that's not real fun? <laughs> More of my sponges. I picked up another pack of those. I go through these like crazy. My favorite, favorite, favorite sponges. I love these. They last a good long time, but I change them out. You know, they start getting funky looking. I just change them out. They haven't had the bonus packs in a long time. They used to, every once in a while have the bonus pack of three, but I keep looking in case they do. Oh, and then I picked up these sprays. These are Wizard brand sprays. Um, this one is Winter Pine Forest. This is going to smell so good. I can only use this stuff like in my bathrooms because of my birds. But um, yeah, I did give it a little spritz. I have to smell everything before I buy it. Um, but yeah, that one smells really, really good. Winter Pine Forest, it's called. They have a lot of like different wizard products now. Um, and this one is called Sweater Season. I can't even explain the scent of this. It just smells, I don't know, like a perfumed sweater you would wear, I guess. I don't know. It smells really, really good. Um, so I figured that would be nice, too, maybe for the holiday put down in the bathroom. If nothing else, the container's real pretty. So, <laughs> got those. Oh, deodorants. We grabbed a couple deodorants. Um, my husband's going to try. This one is Lucky for Men. Antiperspirant and deodorant. Fresh comfort scent. Smells really good. You know, of course, I had to smell those, too. Um, this is a 1.6 ounce called Fresh Comfort. So we got that one. And then also the Suave, they had um, Energizing Sport deodorant, antiperspirant and deodorant. Um, sweat and odor protection, 48 hours. Yeah, that'll never happen, but <laughs> that smells really good, too. So the Suave Energizing Sport. All right. Enough of that stuff. Plus section, I picked up two different things in the plus section. First, I picked up this tablecloth that I think I want to use in here in my craft room on my big white table that I have behind me with all kinds of junk on it right now, but that's going to get off of there because I'm getting close to getting this room done. Not quite, but close. Um, and then Christmas crafting is going to begin, so it's just going to explode in here again. But anyway, this is a 60 by 84 inch. It's probably going to be too long, but you can cut them. Um, I do believe this one is has a backing. White plain after use. Um, does it say? I don't know. It feels really thick. Let's let's see. Let us see. Let me take it out of here anyway. But they have the different sizes. They have 60 inch round. I didn't see those at Dollar Tree. And then they have more oblong and they have more square that are 52 by 52. I didn't see those either. This was the only size. I don't know if they had the other ones at one point or not. But yeah, they're real. Oh yeah, they do. See, they have that nice like, um, like a felt backing. So there you go. Yeah, this isn't one of them real skinny see-through kinds. This is a really nice one. And I even say how much I pay for it. I just threw the paper on the floor. Come back here. Three dollars. Three dollars for this tablecloth. All right. See, I forget to say this. But yeah, it's a nice big one, and I love the print. What's on there? There's acorns, leaves, berries, all kinds of goody things. But yeah. So I got that. I figured that would be nice to have in here. Festive up this craft room a little bit. The other thing I got, let me cut this off. I got a blanket. You guys know I buy these blankets every time they come out with new ones. Just because I have to have seasonal dog blankets for my dog bed. <laughs> and these were $5. And they are 50 by 60 inches. It's called Holiday Fleece Throw. But I thought this was a real pretty print. And these are perfect. And I, like I said, I love these. They're super soft. And, you know, they're not real thick or anything. Just something great to wrap up in if you want to on the couch or whatever, in the chair. But this is going to put on my dog beds. And I love these because they're so nice and thin, but soft and warm at the same time. Then I can throw, like, like four or five of these in the washing machine at a time. And I change them quite often because, you know, they're doggies. They get smell like doggies after a while. So, I don't know, probably a couple times a week I change them out. So that's why I like to have a bunch of these. I don't know if I got Christmas ones last year. I don't remember. I know I was having a hard time finding the blankets last year. This time there's like tons of them everywhere. All right, and I picked up a couple gift boxes. Um, they had these out on an end cap. Um, they have these in the three different sizes. These are the bigger ones, and these always go first. So 
and they're just plain on the inside. So I figured I'd grab one of each in the silver and the red for Christmas time. They're dollar twenty-five. Yeah, I think those were the only two things that I got in the plus section. The rest of it's a dollar twenty-five, I believe. I could be wrong. Um yeah, there's no size on here. Not intended for food, so don't get these to put cookies in. I think because of the glitter is probably why. Yeah, there's no, <sighs> no size on here. So let's see. These are about three and a half inches tall. They are about seven and a half inches long and five and three quarter inches wide. So it's a nice size for a little gift. So I thought they're pretty and I like the fact they're already decorated. Put a little tape on there. You're done. My favorite way. Let me toss them over there in that box of Christmas things that needs to go away. And then I would dig down here. I picked up a couple more ornaments. I thought these were really nice. Now I think these are brand new. I could be wrong. Some people told me last time I said something was new that they got them last year, but let me just say these are new to me and my store. And that is these three big wooden bead snowmen. The, oh, I didn't turn my light back on over here. It's kind of blah in here. There we go. Uh, yeah, look at the faces are really, really cute. It's got a nice little scarf, a nice little hat, hangs with a nice thick jute string. Um, I mean, you could use these for anything. You'd take them off, glue them together, use them in a craft project. So I got this little guy in the gray. And then I got this cute little guy here in the red. And he has a different, you no, know, it's the same kind of hat. Just different color. But look at the faces. They're so sweet. Then you got your little buttons on that one. And all that good stuff. But aren't they cute? Love them. I picked up one of each of those. They also had these bags. I don't know if they've had these before. I don't remember. You would think I would have them if they did. 60 piece wooden beads in all the pretty Christmas colors. So I grabbed two bags of these. Um, what did I say? 60 pieces. Yep. Yeah, they're really nice. So, like I said, I figured I'd better grab two because I have a feeling they will not last either. Um, I did grab some books. Whoa, jeez, I just almost knocked everything over here. I grabbed some books because I want to do some DIYing with these books. Um, this one's called, I mean, I'm going to do DIYs with them, but if you want to read them first, go right ahead. I got this one here um, mainly because of the nice plain gray cover. And we're going to do some cute projects with these. I saw that I saw that people have been doing crafts with these, and I was like, oh, I love them. And this one's called Payback, a novel, married by Mary Gordon. I mean, maybe a very good book, too. I don't know. But, I mean, after we're done with it for, this used to be $27.95 in the United States. And now it's $1.25. But that one has a nice red cover on it. I got that one. I don't even want to start reading what's in this book because I'm going to not want to do this and <laughs> just, I want to craft with them. This is a New York Times bestseller, Velvet Was the Night by Sylvia Morano Garcia. Hmm, very interesting. I don't want to know. But, <laughs> anyway, I got this one too because I thought this was nice. This has just a nice plain black cover on it. So I'm going to do some DIY with books because I think it'll be fun. They will look cute. I hope. I just saw some. Was it on Pinterest or did it pop up on Facebook? I don't know, but they're all over the place. I went on Pinterest and like everybody's made these except me. I don't know where I've been, but <laughs> whatever. My husband picked up this book. He loves to look at the magazines and stuff they have there. And this one is called um, Remind 50 Years Ago. 50 years ago, guys. Come on. Are you serious? A look back at 1974. Oh, my God. Oh, do I feel really old right now? Anyway. Yeah, there you go. But this has all kinds of cute things in here for him to look at. It's got crossword puzzles to do when you're done, I guess. Um, yeah, that's a really nice little book. I guess it has all kinds of little puzzles and things in here, too. I didn't know that. It's 
all about the different shows from back then. Oh, look at there's Kiss. Uh, Jim Croce. I used to love Jim Croce when I was younger. Love, love, loved him. All right. Anyway, great little book if you happen to see it at Dollar Tree. That just blew me away that that says 50 years ago. 1974. What was I? I was just a teenager. <laughs> Barely. Anyway. <sighs> yeah, that just does not seem like that should have been that long ago. And I hear my husband getting ready to start the mower up down there. So I may have to pause this for a minute because that will get very, very loud. Unless I can show this real quick. I picked up another one of these silicone mats. I want it for my other table over there because I like to put my hot, lay my hot glue gun on here. And then I did pick up another batch of leaves here. That's it. So hopefully we can be done here before you start that thing up. If not, it'll be close enough to being done. But anyway, I just picked up some more of these because I have used so many leaves this year decorating out on my porch and stuff and DIYing and filling up vases with leaves and flowers that I just picked up. What did I get? Six more batches of leaves. But that is it. That is what I got for this trip. Um, I am going to go clean this up. There goes the mower. I'm going to clean this up and I'll go get little P and he should be gone with the mower by then. All right, here comes little P. I don't know how entertaining he's going to be today because <laughs> He's going to continue. He was out there grooming himself, and I think they're all out there napping right now. It's very quiet in my house, which is unusual. Well, except for this time of day. But yeah, everybody, na why are you shaking? I don't have anything scary here. Unless you're scared. Of that. Would you like a peanut? Hello. Would you <laughs> he was so funny when I was showing that lamp last week. I didn't even know he did that. Until everybody started making comments, I had to go back and rewatch it. I almost fell off my chair laughing at that vi video. <laughs> oh my goodness, P. Yeah, here, do you want your peanut? That was too funny. <laughs> you little goofball. Everybody kept saying, oh, P was so cute playing peekaboo. I'm like, what's everybody talking about? <laughs> I was busy talking, showing you the lamp. I don't know what he was doing. Isn't it good? Yeah. Is that good peanut? Yeah. Yummy, huh? You in a good mood today? It's been pretty chill out there today. It's been pretty loud. Why are you getting mad at me? I'm picking it up to give it to you. I peeled. Look at him puff all up like I'm trying to steal something from him. Hmm. Oh, your back feathers need to be sprayed again. They all dry and flaky looking. Yeah. We gotta spritz you every once in a while with some nice water on your back, cause you know, birds are used to being out in the rain and things when they live out in the wild and get all cleaned up and you don't. He's good at cleaning his belly and everything because he'll dive right in his water dish. But we have to spray his back. He's not always happy about it, but most of the time he likes it. Oh, a little spritz bottle. Just a nice mist. Yeah, you like getting your misting? Do ya? Yeah. I figure I'd bring you in here. I was going to bring his toys in here, but he's not going to play with them right now. Now when he gets sleepy like this, he I'm surprised he's eating this peanut. I really, really am. Huh. Yeah, talk about you being a pretty good boy today. Yeah. I know. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm like this room is like gets all the noise, this craft room. It's right over top of the garage. Um, it's been right outside is where they've been doing all this construction and stuff for weeks. They, thank goodness they haven't been working on that lately. I know they have more to do, but it's been pretty quiet around here. I'm not stealing it. I'm trying to hand it to you, Krabby Patty. But yeah, it's been pretty quiet. 
figure while well, daddy's getting that lawnmower ready to go he always goes up takes it up checks the oil and all that stuff in the riding mower and we have a few minutes before that thing starts zooming around the house yeah yes we do yeah these guys love watching them mow the grass outside they all sit and look out the window huh watch them go by on the mower is that funny is it funny watching daddy mow the grass yeah it's funny Hmm? Is it funny? I'm gonna kill you to laugh once in a while. You only do it when you do something evil. I don't know if you want that piece. You want it? It's not much left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You bit me in the thumb. What do you that you bit me in the thumb? Was that this morning? I was like, what the heck is wrong with you? No, I only got little tiny pieces. I know you don't want those. Is that it? Oh, stop. Oh, wait a minute. Here. I found one that's a little... Uh, that just broke. You don't like the little pieces. Oh, this is a whole piece. Look at that. That's a whole one. <laughs> it's like, I don't want any more. Are you done with your peanut for the day? Yeah, what do you think? I was kidding? I wasn't kidding. Yeah. Uh-oh, I hear that lawnmower coming. I hear it. <laughs> it sounds like bees coming in front, doesn't it? Are there bees coming, P? You hear it? What's that? They're pretty used to it. They don't really mind it, do you guys? Oh, here he comes, hear him? He comes on the lawnmower. Yeah, <laughs> who's that? What's that? Is that daddy on the mower? Daddy cut the grass? My African grave says that. He'll be out there. Daddy cut the grass? Mm hmm. And here he comes. All right, well, we're going to let everybody go because it's going to get real noisy here once he gets over here by this window. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we will see you all next time. Have a great day, everyone. Take bye-bye, Pete.